Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. It is Sweetest Dolls, and today I'm so excited for this. Um, so I just got one of the two dolls I pre-ordered from the Disney Mattel Creations exclusive um, Enchanted Elegance collection. And as you can tell by the box, I got Rapunzel. Um, I literally just got her fully like five minutes ago. I haven't opened this box. I only got her out of the shipper. So we're going to take a look. We're going to do a first impressions you're gonna see my reaction to her first in person um and then i'll unbox off camera and then we'll get into the review so here's the box so it has like a soft touch thing on the mat and then with the flowers it's a like slightly raised glossy finish which is really pretty and it's the same as that golden flower that we have in the movie obviously i really like this art it's beautiful down here we have rapunzel's um typeface and we also have this really pretty like logo icon for her i really like this it has the flower some nice like swirls and then a paintbrush all in like a circle really cool and then it says enchanted elegance collection and then down there is just like a gold little seal that's supposed to be like the mental creations logo um the side of the box also has those glossy flowers it has like this weird asymmetrical thing going on i don't really understand why it has that but it's interesting. Um, so here is the back of the box. I'm going to read this real quick. Rapunzel Enchanted Elegance Collection make a statement under the stars with a special collection of Disney princess dolls and elegant evening looks inspired by Disney's Tangled. Rapunzel is ready to find her dream in a charmeuse gown with layers of fawn ruffles, delicate petal like sleeves, and a lace up jacquard corset. I probably said that wrong. <laughs> her sparkling jewelry and heels are adorned with golden sunflower sun drop flowers. The magical bloom that gives her hair healing powers. Join Rapunzel doll. I don't like that. It should be join Rapunzel. Join. What? <laughs> join Rapunzel doll for an enchanting evening you'll never forget. That's weird grammar. Um, and then at the bottom, it says Mattel Creations, has a Disney logo, and Disney.com, which is weird because these aren't sold on Disney.com. So I don't know if they had to do that for some reason. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm going to take her out. Whoa. Holy crap. Wow. Okay, her earrings messed up, but wow. Oh my god. You guys can't see her. I'm gonna take off the dust cover real quick so we can just take a quicker look at her and Wow. Wow wow. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I'm like speechless. Um so this is what she looks like in box. I know she probably is like a COA. In the back of the box i don't care i'll show that later but wow oh my god i don't know why her earring is stuck is it like sewn on i don't know what's going on with the earring hopefully i can fix that but wow oh my god okay um so that's what she looks like in box I'm going to cut off camera, take her out, get her all ready, and then we'll be right back. She's out of the box. That was a really pleasant unboxing experience, actually. Right off the bat, I need to say that this material down here is extremely delicate. And they actually sewed it into the box. And they didn't use ties for literally any of the dress. Like, there was no part of the dress that was T-tied in to the box, which I appreciate so greatly because it really minimizes any risk of like holes or anything. And I don't see any like glaring holes at any part of this dress, which is so refreshing because these materials are so high quality, but obviously so delicate that I was worried about that. And I don't see any issues at all. Before we get to the doll, um, I just wanted to preface that. And also here's her COA, nothing important. It just says, what the doll is and all that fun stuff so if you care about that you care about that i don't <laughs> um but let's look at this doll because holy crap so again another preface is she comes with a saddle stand as do all of the collector disney dolls from mattel um and first off the face i know a lot of people were iffy about this rapunzel's face because they're just like not the biggest fan of the rapunzel dolls from mattel anyway this face in person is so beautiful. I was very iffy about it too, but I knew I wanted her just based on her outfit alone. 
and I figured I would end up growing to like her, but it's so beautiful. So beautiful. I love the two-toned lip. The freckles are really well done. The eyes are beautiful. The makeup, the like very beautiful dark purple. Can't really see it because of her lashes, but the dark purple with the pink, it is beautiful. And I also really like the brows. They're really like, that looks so much like Rapunzel to me. I don't know. Also, the Rudy lashes are well, very well done, I will say. Um, I might need to trim this side because it doesn't look the best to me, but that's neither here nor there for me right now. <laughs> um, I think they look good. Their placement on the actual doll is very well done. Um, I don't really see any glaring issues with the face as of yet. There's a slight little stain on her forehead, but it's not really that visible, and it also could just be like gel or something, even though I don't feel any gel in this hair, so... It might just be mine, um, but I really can't see it, and you can't really see it on camera, I don't think, so I don't really care. Um, this hair is crazy. I'm gonna have to back the F up because this doll has a lot of hair. So first off, I guess we'll just start up here. She has this little like bang part braided and pulled off to the back to the side where we get this thicker little like woven braid that goes around this ridiculously long ponytail. <laughs> Like, that, that goes to the floor, baby. Like, just to show you, I haven't had an issue showing doll hair in a long time. That stuff goes onto the floor and then some. It trains. Like, that's crazy. Um, <laughs> this all a lot of hair, um, which is shocking because... The actual ponytail is like really well done um and by that I mean like the ponytail pulled up is like very close to the head and usually when there's a lot of hair even if it's saran even since saran is a little bit of a thinner fiber um usually you would still see some bulk but I don't see any which is beautiful and groundbreaking and amazing um <laughs> I am very impressed already by the hair there is no product in it. It does obviously have some of that box hair just because it's been in the box. Um, and it definitely could use a shampoo or something because it does feel quite dry, but that's just saran for ya. It's also been shedding, but again, that is just saran for ya. Um, but yeah, next is the earrings, which are those same um, sun motifs we see throughout the movie. They have these little pearlescent pink accents on them. I am having a bit of a hard time with this one on the side. I can't get it to lay down. And I'm also having an issue like taking them out of the ear. So I don't know. I'm assuming they have a post in the ear, which is really annoying. But I'm going to have to figure out a way to take it out of the ear. <laughs> so um, not really looking forward to that. I might just need to wait a little bit and let the doll like acclimate to my house or whatever. I don't know. Um, but... The heads are still pretty squishy for these dolls, so I don't think it should be too, too hard. I just don't want to break these earrings because this is a $75 doll, $70? I don't know, however much these are. $65? I don't know. <laughs> um, but next is the bodice, which is beautiful. This fabric is amazing. I love the way it just, like, sits and floats. It's very floral which is I, why they use it on this doll and Mulan. Um, I love how it's like cinched together with a bow right here. And then we have those two purple strips going down, which is amazing. I love this brocade fabric that's on the sides of the corset. Again, beautiful. This is interesting. I don't really know how this is supposed to lay up here. Um, I'm having a little bit of an issue with that because it like wants to pop up. I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. So I'll have to finick with that a little bit. But I do, I'm planning on washing this all. Oh, wait. Okay, wait. There are developments happening. But we will get into the outfit after this. Um, and yeah, I'm going to set her down. And then we're going to look at the bottom. Of, oh, wait. Doi, she has a bracelet. Um, here is the bracelet. It's electroplated and it has those same flower motifs. It's pretty, it's rubber banded on. Um, and then the bottom of the dress is glorious to say the least. 
So here is what it looks like just cascading on my little setup right now. I didn't like judge it or anything because I've been holding this doll because this doll likes to fall off the stand a lot. So <laughs> I can't really hold it the way I want to, but it is very beautiful. It does train out a bit. It's hard to tell again because of the hair. So let me just put that up there, but it does train out a bit and I love all the different layers. So we have this really light dusty like lilac here and then we have this like pinky purple and then we have this like very soft flowy satin which it's not like the cheap satin that you would get on a playline uh disney doll it's very nice and it feels really beautiful um everything is hemmed beautifully it looks amazing i love the way it just like cascades in and out like a flower um this is like the perfect material i think for specifically rapunzel but this dress as well it just it looks so beautiful. Um, and then we have her shoes, which are beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Beautiful. They're like these pearlescent, slightly transparent, glittery heels with the golden um, sundrop flower. Is that what it's called? I don't know. On the back with some little detail down there as well. Very, very beautiful. And then the stand she comes on is slightly curved because she has that like model muse body, which we will look at in a second. I just wanted to show a quick overview of the doll themselves. So I'm gonna go off camera real quick. I'm gonna take off her outfit and try and take out the earrings so we can look at just the doll as she comes and the outfit pieces because I think there might be multiple on her. And then we'll be right back. Okay, I just had some major development on um, opening and like taking this doll out of the stock outfit. So first off, we're gonna look at the body, doll nudity. I don't know, seek help if that bothers you, but here is what her body looks like. So she has the like standard um, deluxe Disney doll articulated arms, which I really appreciate. I think that this is just better and you could hit a lot more poses, but these legs are beautiful. And she also has a slight hip um, quirk. Is that what you would call that? Hip pop? <laughs> um, looks beautiful. I'm, I'm a big fan of this. And the legs. So we have one that is just pretty straight. And then we have one that is cocked out and bent a little bit. Beautiful. Also, you can just see how long her hair is. That's crazy. And that's not even washed. If you gave this a good boil wash, girl, she's taking it. <laughs> um, but that is the new body that we're getting for, it seems like all of the Disney dolls, collector dolls that are coming out. And then this dress, guys, guys, this dress is not only, not one, not two, but four pieces. So first off, we have the base dress, which is the skirt and then the under like top bit. It also has little darts in it on the sides, which is so cool. Um, this gagged me alone. Um, so you can just have this like really basic pretty purple dress and layer it how you want. We have this beautiful corset, which is fully lined by the way. Um, that's crazy. <laughs> and then the two sleeves are separate pieces that are brought together with elastic bands. Oh my God. <laughs> I like, I probably should have expected that. I haven't looked at the stock photos of these dolls in a while. So I probably would have known that if I looked at them recently, but by the way they were positioned on the doll, it looked like they were attached just slightly at like the top of the, like the, you know, where sleeves would be attached on a dress like this. So I wasn't expecting that. Um, but let's take a look at the shoes also real quick just because I could probably show you them a lot better here. They're really beautiful. I will say they are very like gummy. And since one of her foots is cocked, they want, it wants to fall off all the time. So you're gonna have to rubber band to her, them to her feet. They come rubber band in the package, but you might have to redo them because one of mine was falling off the moment I got her out. So just a thing to take into consideration. Um, but I am going to dress her up real quick off camera. And then we'll be back with final thoughts because, wow, <laughs> listen, I've just got to say, 
I am not usually blown away by Mattel dolls, especially collector dolls, but this feels like something straight out of the 2000s. Like, the quality, the piece count, the face, the hair, the body, the, like, the, la oh, like, the layers. That's what really gagged me because, truthfully, I thought all of this would be one piece. Maybe the shoulder, maybe the sleeves would be separate. Who knows? But I fully thought that the corset was going to be attached to the skirt or to the, the dress, I suppose. Like, I thought this entire thing was going to be one piece. Which still would have been fine because the quality is extremely nice. But the fact that they actually took the time to make it two separate pieces, and I'm assuming they did that because I'm assuming the brocade fabric for this is pretty bulky. So it would have been more of a hassle to sew this on somehow to the actual like bodice of the skirt so they just kept those two different pieces but like even that attention to detail is insane and the fact that these are made with elastic so you can really put them wherever you could take them off you could position them on any part of her upper sh um of like her shoulder or her upper arm you could even use one of them as like a crazy garter or something like I, I am flabbergasted, completely and totally flabbergasted. Um, ever, like this doll was just so well crafted. Thank you, Mark Jonathan Repaints. They are the one that's been working with Mattel specifically on the Disney Princess dolls. He also did a Disney doll for the Disney store for the Ultimate Princess celebration. Um, and his work truthfully is just so phenomenal. Everything he does is gold. Like, I can I cannot speak heart highly enough of him. Um, please go follow him on Instagram and any of his socials and look at his art because it's amazing. This doll really does just feel like a new era for Mattel and Disney dolls and like the collector audience because this is high key everything we would want from the Disney collector dolls like from the Disney store. It's a really beautiful, unique garment it has multiple layers the quality is there the face is beautiful the hair is very nice quality and while she doesn't have that many crazy accessories she just has the earrings and the bracelet i still think that's amazing that like the fact that they're electroplated and they look that good i just i can't sing the praises of this doll highly enough um <laughs> i could go on for a very long time about this doll but I will say I feel like I got my money's worth with this one especially if you're going to keep her in box because everything looks perfect in box specifically this doll too the way everything is done if you're an inbox collector you're going to love her if you're an out-of-box collector you're going to love her if you're a collector that likes to switch around the clothes you're going to love her even if you don't like the base doll get it for the outfit I like this makes me so excited about Mulan because Mulan was the other one I ordered. I didn't get Ariel just because we've seen a lot of Ariels in an outfit that looked like that. And I figured I could wait because I feel like they would, if, if anything, if they were going to make different quantities of these dolls, I feel like they would make the most of Ariel, then Rapunzel, and then Mulan. So I figured I would just get the two that I really liked the most and then go from there. Um, but this entire lineup is crazy. I'm so happy with this doll. I'm pretty sure she was 75. <laughs> I would have to like look at my emails and my like order and, th and things like that. But I'm in love with her. I just have to say it again. I'm in love with her. The only downside, I will say the only downside is that her earrings are not removable. And it seems like they made the post extremely close to the actual like the outside of the earring because I can't even pull them out a little bit and I'm scared of hurting them so she's just gonna have these earrings forever which is fine because for my collector doll specifically I don't really mess with them a lot um and I like this doll as she is it just is a little bit annoying for when I fix up her hair because I'm I'm not taking the hairstyle down but I would just like to boil wash all this saran just so it is like beautiful and perfect because it is it's not ratty but it is very puffy and dry right now. So I'm going to have to wash condition, boil wash, all that stuff. And it's a lot of hair. So it's just going to get really annoying trying to get it through and around those earrings. But 
that's neither here nor there, because I know most people are going to be doing that anyway with this doll. So, yeah, that's... <laughs> I haven't been this passionate about a doll in a long time. Like, especially a collector doll. Like, I really liked the Star Wars doll that Disney Store released recently. I think that doll's very well done. Could she be better? Yes. This doll I really don't have any critiques on besides the earrings. And that's how Mattel does earrings for most of their collector dolls anyway, so I should have probably expected that, but... I'm gagged. I'm gagged. Um, if you guys like this, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know who your favorite of the three is down below. Let me know if you're getting any of them. Let me know if you got any of them already and how you feel about them. Um, and let me know who else you want to see them do. I'm always going to be a Kita writer, but I truthfully don't think we're ever getting a doll from her ever again. <laughs> we got lucky with that 17-inch release. So, yeah. But besides her, I'd probably want to see, like, I don't know. But anyways, that's it. Bye, guys.